if I say the tetralogy of Feller, the four digits together we call tetralogy of Feller. One is ventricular septal defect. One is pulmonary stenosis. Another one is overriding aura and right ventricular hypertrophy. Right ventricular hypertrophy. So the to understand this four disease, right, we have to know what are the normal uh, heart function. So normal heart, if you see the picture here, this one is the right atria, right ventricle, left atria, left ventricle, right? So right atria and right ventricle communicate through the opening or valve and this is the wall is called right ventricular wall and this is the interventricular septa they divided to ventricle there no communication at all and blood is come from upper extremity through the superior vena cava and from lower extreme inferior vena cava, then go right atria. From the right atria, blood supposed to go to the ventricle, right ventricle. From right ventricle, blood should go to the pulmonary tongue to lungs, where deoxygenated and oxygenated blood is exchanging and oxygenated blood is come back through this pulmonary vein to uh, the left atria. From left atria, they're supposed to go to the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, they go to the arch of aorta and they distribute to the whole body. So, now we are going to talk about the four diseases together. It's called tetralogy of Fellor. So one of right ventricular hypertrophy. So this is the ventricle. If ventricle is too thick, huge, that times inside the space or room should be reduced the size. So sometime some baby has a congenital heart problem and this wall is too thick, thicker, like this. When it is too thick, the room inside is too less, that times they do not have enough space to accumulate or collect the blood from left atria. Not enough room. So if it is not enough room, that time they cause a back flow of the blood from this direction, from left vent, right ventricle to right aorta, if it is not enough space. So this thickness, hypertrophy, is one of the congenital problem. It's called right ventricular hypertrophy. As I told you, the two ventricle, right ventricle contain deoxygenated blood and left ventricle contain oxygenated blood. And blood from this ventricle must go to the lungs. And oxygenated blood come from lungs to left ventricle and distribute to all over the body. And this two ventricle is completely separated by intraventricular septa. But unfortunately, some of the baby born with a problem, defect in this septa, sometimes abnormal opening in 
between two band recall if the opening is there the deoxygenated blood directly go to band left ventricle so deoxygenated blood go to oxygenated blood carbon dioxide mixed with this blood and this carboxygenated or deoxygenated blood is distributed to the body through the aorta and patient is get hypoxic less oxygen to the tissue exercise intolerance right patient easily fatigue tired growth retardation because tissue do not get enough oxygen because of this problem this is called ventricular septal defect one of the tetralogy of failure so ventricular septal defect sometimes automatically be corrected if automatically not corrected we can correct it surgically another problem is here is called pulmonary stenosis so blood supposed to go from left uh, right atria to the lungs through pulmonary tongue but if the pulmonary tongue is narrowing or stenosis the pathway is too narrow blood does not uh, go from right ventricle to the lungs because of pathway is too narrow so pulmonary stenosis is the one form of tetralogy of failure the last tetralogy of failure is called overriding aorta so you see the blood when come from lungs to left atria from left atria they should go to left ventricle from left ventricle they should go to the pulmonary so they should go from left ventricle to arch of aorta so this is the artery major artery distribute blood to whole body upper trunk and lower trunk but in this area the beginning this is called arch of aorta and sometimes the arch of aorta is congenitally defected defect where aorta is positioned directly over ventricular septal defect instead of the over the left ventricle because of this problem also blood is not equally distributed so this is the overriding of aorta another congenital problem so there are four type of congenital problem one is right ventricular hypertrophy one is ventricular septal defect third one is ventricular uh, pulmonary stenosis and last one is called overriding aorta so uh, here.